Up Charlotte's Bree Jackson joins us from DC, where today the Labor Department will release its September jobs report. President Biden has been highlighting low unemployment numbers heading into the midterms, but Bree, many Americans are dealing with the daily impacts of inflation. Good morning, Sarah. Today, President Biden visits Hagerstown, Maryland, where he's expected to deliver remarks on building the economy from the bottom up and middle out. President Biden on a pre midterm trek touring an IBM plant in New York, touting $20 billion in investments, and teasing there's more to come. Our economy has created 10 million jobs, 668 manufacturing jobs, proof that made in America is no longer a slogan. Despite that, there's indication that the economy may be slowing. New jobless claims surged slightly last week. 219,000 Americans filed for unemployment benefits, up 29,000 over the previous week. This as high inflation continues to strain consumers' budgets. Everything's kind of going up right now, like food and everything. Sparking fears the country could be heading toward a recession. Retailers are anticipating a customer that is not going to be spending quite as much. Americans are expected to see gas prices rise in the coming weeks after top oil producers announced plans to cut output by 2 million barrels a day. That's pretty brutal, yeah. Republicans blame rising costs on Democrats' policies and are banking on voter dissatisfaction heading into midterm elections. They will sacrifice our economic security, our energy security, our national security uh, to get a political win in November. We're increasing domestic and international supplies. Now that's a plan. The other side is trying to exploit these frustrations. Both sides honing in on one of the most important issues to voters, the economy. The Federal Reserve is keeping a close eye on job growth and wages to see if it needs to get even more aggressive on slowing the economy. So far this year, the Federal Reserve has raised interest rates five times in an effort to tame high inflation. In Washington, I'm Bree Jackson for Wake Up Charlotte.